Right, so fire alarm's going off. Come in here, you open this up. And it's all going, the buzzer's going. The first thing you wanna do is turn the key to there. And you've got here a silent buzzer, a silent alarm. So you press silent alarm first, and then you press, and then this will be squealing away. So you go to your silent buzzer, and then you go reset like that. It will, everything will go quiet. And it will do that. And after a while, it will reset itself. Now, if it goes off again, then you'll need to, then it could be, well, first of all, you need to silence that area and then go and investigate that area. Now, which the areas are, number one up here is our flat B, flat A. Uh, zone two is flat B, and zone three is flat C, and zone four is the hallway, and it's that. So if that gets broken, that is zone four. Uh, now, so let's say that um, uh, we're doing some cooking in our flat and it keeps going off. So while we're cooking, we're going to uh, disable the alarm. So you go to enable disable and then you scroll and I can see that the button, the, uh, the light goes to whichever area you want to go to. And if you keep scrolling, then it just cancels itself out. So for zone one, do that, click it again and you see the light holds on that area and then you keep scrolling until then it's just back to normal and then it's just, this light shows that there is an enable disable going on and that it's in zone one if you then uh, now once the smoke is cleared and you want to enable it again remember we've got to keep this on as much as possible enable disable scroll oh what am i doing there okay let's try that again then enable disable and then we'll save it again. Ah, okay, and now you can see it's flashing. So now you just scroll through until it stops flashing. Now it's back to normal. Uh, and then you can reset it as well again there. And if you want to test the alarm, you want to do that, but we don't want to do that. <laughs> we don't want to do that. I think that's about it. Yeah, good luck. Cheers.